How many times have you came on for a hard day at whatever you're doing? And you think, I know, I'll enjoy myself, I'll go on battlefield, get a few wins, easy peasy. Well, you click quick match, you click conquest, you click your match. Then all of a sudden you realise you're stuck with a bunch of noobs because you lose the first game, you lose the second game, you lose again and again. Well, this video is going to give you the top tips to carry these to victory, so good luck. Hi guys, Nature said you're welcome to your Battlefield 1 video. This is the top 5 tips for conquest to have a good start at the game. Foot infantry, move straight to the first objective, for example A. After you've capped that, go to the second objective, for example B. If you're in a vehicle, you're faster movement, go straight to the third objective, middle of the map, capture that. Hold it, if you have time the enemy's not capturing the fourth one, for example D, go and cap that, defend it, wait for infantry to push up and wait for more people to spawn, and create resistance for the enemy. Second tip, when you are caught in a stalemate, for example, you have three flags, enemy has three flags, nothing's happening, nothing's going anywhere, go straight to the enemy's home flag, in this case F, that's going to be the furthest flag from your base, capture that, by doing that, this will withdraw enemies from the middle of the map, where the action is happening, causing less resistance and letting your force to move on and push on and dominate mid map. Third tip to dominate mid map. Firstly, do not go alone. Stupid idea. Majority of the battles take place in mid map, therefore most of the enemies are going to be there. So open up your map, see where your allies are pushing in from. If you're going through the middle, any allied tanks, great, push with them, protect them. If you're feeling a bit spicy, hit their enemy from behind on the flank, they might not expect it. The scenario you're watching now, it was being dominated by the enemy. They had five flags, including our home flag F. We had one flag C, look at the edge of the map, not too important in this case. What did we do? Most of my allies, including myself, retreated back to F. Once the enemies were dead, I didn't need the capture points, I'm no point all. I went straight up to the second objective E, let them cap that. I wasn't here by much resistance, managed to kill a few enemies, capture it. By the time my allies came up, it was safe, faster. Captured F, captured E. We've got a chain link now. Chain link. Is very important so we've got f we've got e we're pushing it to d any allies who don't have a squad or vehicles nearby to spawn in could spawn in e which makes it faster for them to come to d to capture the flag as reinforcements fourth tip the flanking maneuver to do the flank maneuver you just have to get behind the enemy. it sounds as easy as that there's a lot of objects on the outside of the map inside the map a lot of bushes or some maps is even trenches you can get in run behind the enemy when you're behind the enemy, I wouldn't recommend going to scout. It's pointless camping because you're going to be in this enemy spawn flag, spawn points. Therefore, they're going to be spawning on. Some of them do check the minimap straight away, so it's not really effective. It's really new with a medic, rifle, or assault class. Personally, I would recommend an assault class with a shotgun or like the automatic or machine gun. Faster movement, faster mobility. You can get in, get a few kills, hide, get out. Medic is also good because you can get yourself in the wounded, like I am now on 14 health. If you're using this flanking manoeuvre to defend the flag, great. You're causing more resistance for the enemy. They're going to be sat there thinking, I've been hit from both sides. Like, where, where do we shoot? More than one is going to turn down and think, I'm going to kill this guy. He's going to start killing us. Let's kill him. And by this point, your allies hopefully would have pushed ground. They would have been pushed right on the flag, if not further, gain ground. Which, then you can go and attack the flag. If you're using it to attack the flag, then when you start ticking that down, that flag, you kill the enemy and start capturing it. Your allies are point hard, they're going to see, need the points, need the points, they're going to jump on it as well. Fifth tip, the importance of flare guns. Flare guns are one of the most underrated abilities you can have on battlefield. You can only get them as a scout class. A lot of people do go scout and do use them, but they don't use them in the most effective way. I've seen people pop them in the middle of nowhere and you just think, what a waste of a flare, that's just doing nothing. If you're attacking a flag, you want to pop one at the front and back, or one at the left, one at the right. You want to do it so that they don't really cross over with each other, it creates a bigger radius. You can see the enemies when you're pushing on the flag itself, and when you're actually on the flag, and you think, yeah, I can see where all the enemies are, and you can watch your back as well. When you're defending a flag, you want to pop one in the middle of the flag, and maybe one towards a spawn point where the enemy's coming in from. This will give the ability to see where the enemy's attacking from so you can already prepare for them to come in and then when they actually get on the flag itself it is a lot you can prepare for that as i said you can only use them as scout class so all you have is really a pistol and a sniper not the best abilities but if you're sat with a few teammates they can also see the enemies on their mini map so don't forget to check your mini map because also allies might use it as well if you go and assault a medic class you'll see here i quickly spawn in quickly pop a flare create a little smoke screen for that guy running up he can't see me turn around for the other guy and I can see exactly where every single person is coming in for me. If they're coming in from the front, if they're flanking me from behind, or if they're hitting me from the side. I know I can already prepare for it and I have the advantage. Great. This guy above, he already knew, he's like, oh wow. 
I'm out of here, I'm retreating. This guy's too good for me, and he fell back. You use them effectively, because if you use a flare gun and you just put it in the middle of nowhere, it's pointless, and it's a total waste of having it. Just remember, don't be a noob. Think before you do anything. Think, is this effective? Is it going to help us win the game? And then if you think, yeah, then might as well do it and give it a go. If it doesn't work, maybe do it again. If it doesn't work, then maybe not do it after that. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like down below. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell next to it for notifications when I upload next. Leave a comment. Maybe tell me your top tip for winning Conquest on Battlefield. See you guys later. Nitrox side out.